All right, all right. Welcome to day number six of the 30-day self-recovery transformation. You know, over the course of the past few days, I really hope that you're gaining, you know, just really a good feeling from these videos. It, it doesn't matter so much whether you understand everything that I'm trying to uh, teach and explain. There's really probably a lot on your plate, whether you're going through recovery from an addiction, depression, anxiety, relationships. Being able to understand the principle that our experience of reality doesn't come from anything other than our own thought, our consciousness. It, it's liberating. It, it's designed to make things easier for you. And I really hope, like we were talking about yesterday, that you, you can find that there's less that you really need to do. And maybe it can even help you focus on what good you can do to help you more and make that easier. You know, today I was enjoying one of my favorite seasonal things. It's autumn here right now. And one of my favorite experiences is going out and getting lost, you could say, uh, in a corn maze. You know, I've been doing this kind of as a yearly tradition, probably since I was a kid. I, I can't remember, it's been many, many years. And there was a really good one in town today, and I couldn't help but, but go and kind of relive that fun childhood experience. You know, the thing about mazes, I, I don't know if you're familiar with the kind of the Greek story of the, the labyrinth, how there's a, a monster that lived in this maze, and the... Only people that went into the maze were kind of sent there as a punishment because you couldn't get out. No one knew how to get out unless maybe there was some mystical wisdom that they had gained. Uh, and it was really a punishment where uh, a punishment of exile because they wouldn't be able to return from it and the monster would come and get them. And one person he had to go in and actually defeat the monster. And in order to do that, you also then have to get back out because otherwise you die. He gained the key, the insight, before he went in and was successful. And it shocked everyone in the city. I'm probably messing up the story a little bit. You could probably look it up and maybe get some better understanding of the, the actual Greek myth. But what's really interesting about this that I, I kind of had a re-thinking of when I was in the maze today was, wouldn't it be cool that when you're walking through life, like kind of in a maze and you know kind of the secret to how to navigate the turns and when, when you're in a maze you can get to a spot where oh yeah i've got to go left or right or do i go straight if it's a three-way fork or, or what do you what do you do and you have to make these decisions that's our free will getting exercised but imagine if you knew the answer to that decision before you even got to the fork in the road. It, it would take a weight off your mind. You'd be able to walk and then just turn and turn and turn. And as, as I'm going through the maze, it, it's fun because if, if you go with people who don't know the, the, the secret to getting through the maze, from, from the Greek myth, then 
you let them kind of go through and then you get lost together or maybe you'll stumble across it uh on accident a, a little trick here and there to get some places and to checkpoints or things like that um but eventually usually you get lost and then you can teach them the the secret of how to get through the maze um, and it really reminded me of being able to explain the, the principle of reality and, and what it does because when you understand that all of your all of your experience of reality it, it, it doesn't come from things outside it only comes from within from your ability from the innate ability of thought, of consciousness. It takes a weight off the mind. You can come to a fork in the road in life or in a maze and just be able to instantly walk on. You don't even have to take a pause, take a breath. You already know where to go when you get there. You can come to maybe a spot and see, oh, well, that's a dead end. I mean, I don't necessarily have to walk down it. I can avoid that and just keep going. And it's an amazing thing. So I really hope that as you're being able to understand a bit about this principle, that this kind of liberation internally is what you can achieve. That as you're walking through the maze of life, and you come to a fork in the road that you can just continue walking on. Maybe without a thought, in the, in the world, without a care in the world, you could say. But just being able to easily pass on through life. So stay tuned. We'll talk more about these things in the upcoming episodes. And I hope that not only peace and blessings are with you, but a free and liberated mind.